we were thrilled to partner with Advocates for Youth and Youth Tech Health to develop a maze as a resource for 10 to 14 year olds who are navigating this critical transition between childhood and older adolescence. And it was really a joy to work with so many creative young animators on this project because they brought an incredible artistic vision to the initiative. We know that it is essential for sex education to start early so that young people are equipped with the knowledge and the skills that they need to navigate puberty and all of the changes that they go through as they grow up. But this age group is particularly overlooked in sex education and there aren't a lot of high quality resources for 10 to 14 year olds. We, we're constantly making sex dark or something hidden. This is a project where we're really trying to celebrate reproductive health and trying to make it a little more fun than usually you would get. Hi, I'm Olivia Pereda. I'm 16 and I'm going into my junior year of high school in the fall. And I wrote, storyboarded, did the character designs for, and animated the Stand Connected short for a maze. And I had help uh, from Tammy Kim, who's an amazing illustrator and animator. She's so talented. She did all of the background art and she did the cleanup for the animation. And like she helped me write it and storyboard it. And she did some amazing stuff on here. Really like the message of like what we're trying to convey in the short is staying connected safely. The internet. It may seem like a fantastic place, but beware. There are internet predators at every twist and turn. It's such an important message for today because we're in the age of technology and anybody can be talking to anyone online. Kids should be empowered to make their own smart decisions and for them to trust themselves in their own judgment and use the internet as a tool for making great connections, but knowing when there's something bad going on and really having tools to reach out to others when you feel like that's going to happen. We always engage kids with uh, fun humor, but we haven't, as far as I'm concerned, touched the urban kids, you know, and there's only a few educational companies that are trying to touch urban kids, you know, and I grew up on Sesame Street, and Sesame Street was trying to touch urban kids, and so for me, I think that this is going to become very much the next wave that is very much taking that, uh, that Sesame Street torch and really trying to take it into the 21st century, you know, so that now we can really engage kids with, with humor that is what they want to hear and at the same time engage them with messages that are a lot deeper than they expect to hear. Hi, my name is Ekaterina Minskova. I am from Pitygorsk, Russia, based in Brooklyn, New York. I'm a stop motion animator and the director for When Will I Be Ready? My animation allows me to use uh, real people. It is more hard work and effort and patience, but it's worth it for such results. So we have nine, I think there's nine people in the cast. We really like to utilize the school, like, because this is the facility's perfect for what we want to shoot. We'd like to use some kids, we'd like to pass a couple of kids from the school to be in the piece, like, really, really make it a community thing. By rehearsing with kids and meeting them in person, you could see how much more character and how much more amazing each one of them as an individual. It's priceless. So to make it as authentic, as more natural and real as possible, we had to rely on the kids. So getting closer to the shootings, um, kids were getting excited because uh, in rehearsals they start getting uh, an idea of how it's going to look together. The shooting was really uh, a lot of fun. The environment was perfect. I mean, what better environment could you have than an actual school? Oh, you're so sweet. Don't worry, I got it. I don't think I'm ready. Yo, that's cool. I really like you. I can wait. When will I be ready? Turning to this wonderful um, learning process for kids to understand how actually production and film production is not just only all glamorous, it is hard work. Can you show up and be there with the kids and relate with them and, and mentor them on a personal level? That's what we're interested in. My short was Dress to Express, which was about accepting each other for how you dress and accepting for each other for how you want to express yourself to the world. 
this particular piece, the characters go into a dressing room. And it's kind of like when you put on your favorite shirt, or you look in the mirror, and you're like, oh my god, this is, this is it. I feel amazing in this shirt. It was important to me because I wanted kids to know that no matter how they dress or how they want to express themselves, they were still, they should be still treated with respect and uh, accepted by others. And so we're taking it and we're approaching it in a very, very systematic way, an iterative way, so that we end up with the best reproductive health education that's been created. And you know, it's, it's, it's all about that, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, this is guerrilla education.